Hey guys, John B from Phone Arena here. So CS 2016 is finally over. And even though it was a rather slow event when it comes to mobile, it was still a busy show. We had a lot of press conferences to attend. And in this video, we're gonna quickly highlight all the news and all the great showings. And at the end, we're gonna talk about one trend that we saw. So let's get started. Huawei, they really stole the show. They had by far the most dazzling and action-packed press conference out of the bunch. And they even introduced a bunch of new devices too, like the Huawei Mate 8, the GX8, and new luxury versions of the Huawei Watch. And this is all well-deserved after a successful launch of its Google Nexus 6P in late 2015. Samsung had acquired a fair this year and their press conference seemed undersized just because they had a huge crowd in this very smaller than expected hall. But they did announce a couple of things. The first being the new Gear S2 Classic in two new colors. And more importantly, they have also the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S, which is shaping up to be a good competitor to the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. The majority of LG's press conference was reserved for its brand new appliances and high-end television sets, but they still announced a couple of affordable devices in its new K series. That's the LG K7 and the LG K10. Even though we're seeing fewer and fewer announcements from HTC, they did announce a new partnership with Under Armour with this connected fitness system. It consists of a fitness band, a scale, and best of all, they improved the HTC V. Now you have a smaller, more lighter compact version, the HTC V Pre, and it's still by far the best virtual reality experience around. So they're moving other areas, which is pretty nice. Huawei is largely regarded as the premier mobile maker from China, but you also have ZTE. They use CES 2016 to announce a couple of affordable smartphones, the first being the Cricket bound ZTE Grand X3, and you have the T-Mobile Metro PCS bound ZTE Avid Plus. Their press conference was a lot smaller than everyone else, but they did have Chicago Bulls legend Scottie Pippen on tap there. We know that Alcatel made some news in 2015 with its mid-ranger devices, but they used CS 2016 to announce a slew of devices in its new OneTouch Pixie 4 lineup, and it ranges from smartphones from 3.5 inches all the way up to 7 inches. But more importantly, they're also moving to the Windows 10 space with the introduction of the Alcatel OneTouch Fierce XL. In previous years, Lenovo would use CES to announce a bunch of devices, but this year, they unveiled only a single phone, the Lenovo Vibe S1 Lite. The best part about Lenovo this year was how they previewed Google's Project Tango at an event, and they also plan on making the first consumer phone with it on board. This is the first year that Miami-based company Blue had its first real event. They used it to showcase a couple of new premium mid-rangers that combine solid designs with inexpensive costs. You have the Blue Vivo 5, which is an all-metal phone for $200, while the Blue Vivo XL retains most of the specs, but at a lower $150 cost. And then we have Sony. Now in years past, they had an electrifying press conference, but this year, it was very subdued and it was a ho-hum affair. They didn't announce any mobile-centric announcements and their press conference was rather slow. It was an agonizing affair that failed to generate any sort of emotion from the crowd. But when we checked out their booth later on the week, we did see one cool new tech gadget. It's the Fess watch, which is a watch, a fashion watch that utilizes e-paper technology. Now that CES 2016 has come to a close, there's this trend that we're beginning to see. From the looks of it, CES is no longer the trade show to announce high-end smartphones like they did in the past, but instead we're seeing a lot of these smaller players announcing devices for it, like Blue, Alcatel, and all the other uh, you know, lesser-known companies out there. So it makes us believe that Mobile World Congress 2016 is going to be the show for mobile from Samsung, LG, HTC, Huawei, you can expect some great news out of that show. So it's only a little bit over a month away, but it'll be here soon enough.